what's going on guys thanks for checking out today's video what i wanted to talk to y'all today about is cobia jigs and kind of how i decide um, what i want in a cobia jig and what i like to throw so i'm gonna keep this video pretty short and simple uh i order a lot of my jigs through c and b custom jigs online you can literally pick tons of different head shapes different weights different hook sizes um, tons of different materials you can change the color of the jig head or of the head of the jig um, and and there's just so many different options so most of my cobia jigs are c and b custom jigs i'll just kind of show them to y'all that's a meat hog there's another c and b custom jig another c and b these are all pretty beat up but that's the way you want to see them c and b custom jig here they just have literally so many different options so many different colors and uh, another local tire that i use um, is first flight lures he makes some great cobia jigs as well and there's there's lots of great people that tie cobia jigs out there lots of great jigs out there um, they're not hard to tie yourself um, but one thing that is important is color and i switch really between a bright orange or a natural um, bright orange i feel like when those fish are aggressive i mean they pick up on it so quickly and crush it um, sometimes when it's a little tougher to get them to bite i'll throw something more natural Playing off of those natural colors will oftentimes help and the fish are a little trickier. Um, here's another, another great one here. This is a first flight lure. Um, one thing I do want to say though is really pay attention to the hooks on your jigs. One, if you're going to be hooking really big fish, you definitely want a thicker gauged hook so that you're not bending it out. But if you are throwing a thicker gauged hook, this is a problem I had when I started cobia fishing, was throwing it on a rod that I thought was a heavy enough rod. It was, I mean, it could handle the jig plenty fine and I could cast it real accurately, but the tip was too soft. And if you fish a really soft tip um, rod with a thicker, one of these thicker mustad hooks like you see on these CNB jigs or these first flight jigs, uh, you have a hard time burying that hook into the fish. So you might have him hooked for a second, but as soon as he starts shaking his head around or thrashing, he's gonna throw the, throw the jig out of his mouth. So make sure you're fishing a rod with a pretty stiff tip on it. Um, or you can get away with some of those lighter tipped rods if you're fishing a lower gauge hook like these eye strike um, striper eye jigs. I like these eye strike striper eye jigs to tie my own um, jigs on or tie my own uh, bucktails out of them or you know even full-blown cobia jigs with lots of different materials. Um, they're great they're great hooks they're not quite as strong of hooks as those mustads um, but if you play, play it on a lighter drag even like big 80 pound fish you can land on one of these um, eye strike striper eyes. So the other thing that I want to talk about is the trailers that I use on these different cobia jigs, these different bucktail jigs. So um, you got the classic curly tail. There's a lot of companies that make these. Even uh, Berkeley has a great one that's scented. So like I was saying on those tougher days, you get a scented buck or scented curly tail, throw it on one of these natural color jigs. If you're wanting to throw artificials and not throw eels or live pogies, that's probably your best play. Uh, if not, then there's plenty of other companies that, that make these that aren't scented. Um, the other soft plastic that I use quite often is the Hoagie soft plastic. They come in a variety um, of different shapes and these work great. Lots of different colors. If I want more of just kind of a, a straight swimming jig, the curly tail gives a lot of motion. This is uh, a little bit, little bit less motion, but you got to remember that these materials move a ton as well when you're working that bait. Um, Hoagie also has a paddle tail that I'll fish quite a bit. Um, as well as these Z-Man Mag Swimmers. I think that's what they're called. The Z-Man Mag Swims. I'll fish these as well. Um, and there's one more larger profile hoagie bait. Very similar to the first one I showed you, but just a little bit larger. Any of these bigger soft plastics work great. This is actually a really good color when they're being a little finicky. It looks a lot like an eel. So fishing this on a darker cobia jig could be really, really effective. Like I was saying, I just want to keep this video short and simple. I wanted to hit these few couple points that I think are pretty key. I hope it's helpful to y'all this spring when you're out on the water pursuing cobia. And if it is, and if you like this video, you can subscribe to the channel. You can press the thumbs up button down there on the bottom. And you can also leave any comments here on Instagram or on Facebook and I'll get back to y'all uh, as quickly as I can on a good answer to your question or your comment. Uh, but as always, thank y'all so much and I will see you in the next video. Peace.